you take a look around our website, you'll find videos on using the smart wire as a standalone unit, using the smart wire uh, in conjunction with sensors. What we're going to talk about now is using the smart wire in conjunction with a race pack data logger, and this really is where the product shines. The reason is, once you connect the smart wire to the data logger, not only are you controlling outputs through the smart wire, you're not going to be recording all the data coming into the smart wire, such as current, uh, switching events, and that type of information to the memory card of the data logger, which is going to allow you to then download the data and review it the same as any other data channel. Before we jump into the details on how to connect the smart wire to the uh, race pack data logger, let's talk for a second exactly about the technology we utilize. We call it VNet, or basically CAN bus uh, uh, system. And the method is we utilize two wires or two pins inside this five pin connector to transmit all the data. What that allows you to do is share the information between the smart wire, between the data logger, between the sensors, and between instrumentation all on, on a single common cable. It's basically the same thing as transmitting your telephone, your internet, and your uh, cable service all over a single cable coming into your home. All right, let's first talk about the actual physical connection of the smart wire to the data logger. If you look closely, you'll notice there's a T-connector connected to the VNet port of the smart wire. That T-connector in this particular example is connected to a pressure sensor. All we're gonna do is take a VNet extension cable, connect between the sensor itself, the module, over to the T connector of the data logger. And now what that allows you to do is share and transmit the information from the sensor to the smart wire so it can utilize that to turn on and off events or on and off devices. At the same time, all of this data is transmitted down this cable over to the data recorder where it's actually being recorded on the memory card of the data logger where you can pull it out and review the data after the run. All right, now let's talk about the programming of the actual smart wire. In uh, previous videos, we talked about programming it as a standalone unit in which case you would plug into the mini USB connector here on, on top of the smart wire and then route over to your PC. In this example, since we're connecting the smart wire to the data logger, we're going to program the smart wire just as if it was a sensor through the programming port of the data logger itself. Once you connect the PC to the data logger, the data channels from the smart wire are added to the configuration file or the setup file of the data logger just the same as if it was a temperature sensor, pressure sensor, RPM sensor, or any other type of sensor you normally would have connected to the data logger. Once the data channels of the smart wire is added to the race pack data logger, you can now complete the actual programming of the smart wire uh, using the uh, Datalink 2 software. So if you want to trigger uh, outputs, uh, devices, that type of thing using a temperature sensor, pressure sensor, or any other type of uh, sensor connected up, you'll simply select those appropriate outputs, tie them in with the appropriate sensors themselves, and complete the programming process. In this example here, as you can see, we have a race pack dash, a data recorder, a pressure sensor and the smart wire. The beauty of this system and the beauty of the design is such that this pressure sensor is sharing its information with the dash for driver instrumentation, with the smart wire to trigger outputs, and with the data recorder to record the information so that after the run or after whatever type of motorsports you're involved in, you can pull the memory card out, download the information, and review it. Keep in mind that while we're using a data recorder, a dash, a smart wire and a pressure sensor all connected together, you can utilize the smart wire in a standalone mode using just the sensors themselves to trigger outputs. You can utilize the data recorder with the sensor or you can utilize the data recorder dash and a sensor. So you can mix and match a number of our technologies together to allow you to custom tailor uh, a setup just for your specific needs. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out all our other videos at racepacksmartwire.com.